everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a chilled, laid back video. Just kind of having fun along the way, applying makeup, kind of using some of my favorite products that I've been reaching for recently. I also decided to pull out this palette. So this, I am so late to the game on. I don't even, <laughs> like this was launched, I think for Valentine's Day, <laughs> which is like a month ago now. So I decided to just pull it out, use it for the first time, kind of share my thoughts with you guys. It's not really a full face of new products, but I just wanted to play with that. And anyway, I love Get Ready With Me's. They're some of my favorites to film, watch, all of that. So I am still adjusting the lighting. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, I got an, had to get a new camera and new lens. So I'm still trying to kind of adjust everything, but that's gonna take me a minute to get everything right. So bear with me on that, I'm still working on it. But anyway, everything I use in today's video, I will link down in the description box down below. I'm gonna stop talking, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I need to put some uh, lip stuff on. So this is from Hourglass. I got this in my FabFitFun box for the spring summer. And <laughs> you guys, when I tell you it took me 10 minutes to get the gloss to actually come up in to the tip. It was forever. I actually had to take a needle and stick it into this little tiny pinhole and like push it. Pain in the butt. I'm still kind of adjusting the lighting. My ring light is turned almost completely down. Like it's hardly, so let me just show you. So that's completely off, right? And then this is on, right? So I have it like just a little bit over on, right? So it's just a little bit because it's too bright. But I have these two box lights here. I just don't know. I'm still adjusting this whole lighting situation. It might take me a minute because I'm just not good with this stuff. But we're going to go ahead and get ready. I've been testing a new concealer and a new foundation. So I have the new concealer from Balatino. And I also have the new concealer from Givenchy and the new foundation from Gucci and this uh, Juicy Glow from Tarte. So I've been kind of playing around with them and I'll be doing my, my reviews soon on those. But I am kind of obsessed with the Makeup by Mario uh, Surreal Skin Foundation. I've been loving this. But the other day I mixed it with a little bit of the Ambient Glow from Hourglass and it was Gorgeous, it was so, so pretty. Now I am gonna be using the Forever Glow Veil just because I did get the Glow Veil and I like it. It's a decent primer, you know, it is, but I don't know that it's like the best primer ever, you know? I like it, but I don't know that it's like fully worth, but you can kind of see it has that pearlized effect on the skin. You can kind of see it as I'm rubbing it out. So Hindash sent this over. It has like a wrist strap and then it has a little Velcro here on the back. Um, I haven't been really using it like that, but I have actually just been using this. So I'm gonna put like two pumps of the Makeup by Mario. I don't end up using it all. And then one pump of the Ambient Glow. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I absolutely love the Ambient Glow from Hourglass, but the undertone is so strong. And I've tried all the shades that are kind of in my range and I just can't get the right shade. <laughs> so this is in the shade nine and it's a good shade. It's just kind of green. It kind of has a green tint to it. So mixing it with the one from Makeup by Mario, which that is in shade 14 Olive. It's such a beautiful combination. There's something about mixing the Makeup by Mario because it's such a natural foundation. It just looks really, really natural and kind of healthy and stuff but then mixing it with that hourglass, it's such a good combination. So if you guys have both of those foundations and you like each of the foundations, try it. There is something about applying foundation. Am I wrong? Like it just takes away everything. 
<laughs> I love applying foundation. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And these two foundations together, oh, such a good combination, you guys. We are actually getting ready to go to Florida. We're actually taking our dogs with us this year, so we're driving out. We're gonna rent a vehicle. Um, we're gonna rent probably like a larger, maybe like a Suburban or something. And uh, we're gonna drive out and it is going to be one heck of a trip. And I'm definitely taking Arlo. He's six months old now and there's no way I can leave him at home. And it's the first time we've ever taken our dogs with us. <laughs> so it's gonna be an interesting car ride. The good news is our dogs are great riders. Like they love to be in the car, but for four days straight, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Like we're gonna have to do a lot of stops. And I was telling my husband, I'm like, we need to leave like a day earlier than we normally would. And just because they get stir crazy and they need to get out and run and you know, get out that energy. And I'm like, we're gonna need to allow time for that. So, Oh, it's gonna be a fun little trip. But we're gonna be gone for about six weeks. And just trying to get everything done before we leave is, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much work. So much work, but it'll be all worth it once we get out there. I'm excited to take the dogs though this year because my golden retriever absolutely loves water. He is just a water lover. And I think he's gonna love the beach so, so, so much. And Arlo, he seems to love everything and anything. He is not afraid of anything. He is so adventurous and so sweet and so cuddly and so lovey. Like he has a great personality. He really, really does. I don't know that my German Shepherd likes water like my Golden Retriever and Arlo. He's a um, Bernie Doodle, but she's just along for the ride to protect everybody. Like she's the protector of us all. And so she can get a little bit um overzealous when it comes to that like she likes to she likes to protect especially from other dogs so we have to keep a close eye on her when it comes to her around dogs that she's not used to especially if they are dominant because she she has that typical german shepherd mentality that she's the head bitch in charge <laughs> okay so i'm going to move on to this product so this is from hindash and this is his color fluid and this is his newest shade this is uh the shade canvas i started using this a couple weeks ago to kind of cancel out the redness on my eyelids and it is such a great product for that it's so lightweight and such a thin formula that it just cancels out without being too thick i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this like right here and then I kind of add as I need it kind of blend it out do like a thin even layer and then if I need to add more I add more Hindash just uploaded uh, he just uploaded on his Instagram I just saw it right before I was filming this Instagram reel of uh, a mother of the bride makeup tutorial and oh my gosh her oh it was he is seriously an, a he is an artist i mean gosh that guy is so inspiring all of his makeup looks are just so incredibly beautiful and oh, he just inspires me i just i love them i do like to set it with powder because i don't like it to be tacky so i'm gonna take the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder and just take a tiny little bit over top of it now i'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick my brow game really hasn't changed that much i just stick with what i love <laughs> um I'm actually considering getting my brows laminated. I don't know. Has anybody had their brows laminated? Um, so the salon that I go to where I get my nails done and my hair done and stuff, they have a girl there now that does brow laminating. And what she does is she laminates and kind of colors them. I just don't know what to expect. And I don't know if I'll love it or hate it. Like I'm just really, really curious. So if any of you out there have had your brows laminated, let me know what your experience was. Like, did you, do you love it? 
or are you just not a fan? I'm so curious. I just thought about doing it because we are getting ready to go to Florida. And normally when I'm in Florida, I don't wear a lot of makeup. Like I wear minimal amounts of makeup. Um, and so I was kind of thinking like, that would be so easy, you know, to have the brows kind of laminated and you know, I mean, I'm still growing out. I still have some bald spots, especially on this side. So you can see that this side right here has filled in, but this side, not so much. Like this is my struggle side. It just doesn't quite um, fill in in that area. And it kind of drives me crazy. So because this is just kind of a chatty get ready with me, and this came out literally like a month ago, <laughs> I figured I would just use it on camera, kind of throw it into the video. I just, yeah, I was late to the game on this one. I have put my finger in this shade because I was so curious because I heard that that is like a new formula, possibly. I'm not sure, but these shades look really pretty. And I was curious about this because I'm kind of obsessed with that like whole cool tone pink moment. So. Let's move on to the eyes first and kind of see where the road takes us. I'm gonna first go into this shade. I wanna see what that actually looks like in the crease. Not a bad shade and it builds really nice. All right, next I'm gonna go into the shade Giddy. I just wanna see what that shade looks like over top of that pink color and like what color it changes it. Ooh, it's actually a pretty color. Kind of blend those two together. That's pretty though. I'm gonna dip my brush into Infinity, this one right here. My nails are short, so I could even apply it with my nails. Let's do that, or with my finger. I shortened my nails. I'm trying out the whole shorter nails um, journey. <laughs> I've had long nails for so long that it does definitely feel weird, but I don't mind it. Like I'm actually quite enjoying having them short. And the reason for that, the reason why I decided to do it is because I have such long fingers as it is. Like I have finger toes, I have very long toes, very long fingers and I almost felt like the nails made my fingers look even longer, right? And so I thought, I wonder what it would look like if I just kind of shortened my nails. So in my last nail appointment, I told my uh, nail girl, who is one of my dearest friends, I was like, let's go short. She's like, really? Really? Like she was so excited. I'm like, let's do it. Let's see what it does. And I actually quite like them. Okay, that color is really gorgeous. It has so much of a soft shine to it. It's really pretty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Giddy right here. And I'm gonna tap that into this outer corner a little bit. Oh, I forgot my tape. You guys, I forgot my tape. I love my tape. I absolutely, how can I forget my tape? I love this tape. It makes it so easy to kind of blend that outer corner. I kind of line it up to the lower lash and the tip of my brow. This is the Next Care tape. It's really soft on the skin. I bought it on Amazon, but you can buy it at any drugstore and, um, or grocery store for that matter, anywhere in the first aid <laughs> department of the store, grocery store, drugstore, whatever. And it works so good. So I was thinking about going into this dark purple shade, just a tad bit, like a little tiny bit, and kind of focusing that here on the outer corner. And I'm gonna go back in with my finger and kind of bring it back over because it was looking a little bit muddy out there. Anyway, now I kind of want to bring that cool tone pink, that Juliet shade, the first shade I went into. I kind of want to bring that back in the crease. So I'm just gonna kind of go over top of everything. It's a really pretty color. I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye really quick, 
and I'll come back and we'll put on some concealer and we'll move on to the lower lash line. So I'll be right back. So I went ahead and finished this, this eye. Let's go ahead and put on some concealer. I think I have the like particles from this shade right here inside my eye. It's driving me nuts. So I've not only been mixing the Makeup by Mario and the Hourglass Foundation, but I've also been mixing these two together just for fun. So this is the Hourglass uh, Vanish Concealer and I have it in the shade Beach. And then this obviously is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer, which is my favorite, and I wear that in shade 8 Medium. So what I've been doing, putting on the Charlotte Tilbury like right here in this area, and then using the Hourglass right here. Just because it has such good coverage. I'm trying to adjust my lighting so that it's as natural to the real thing as possible. So it's not too bright where it like doesn't look realistic, you know? Because I think a lot of the times with these ring lights and stuff, it the ring light, the light hits the face and then it reflects and it kind of like makes everything look better. And I want my quality to be more realistic and more natural and not so washed out. I don't know. Let me know if you guys mind this lighting. Like I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this lighting because as I'm looking in the monitor, this is pretty, I mean, I think my skin's a little bit warmer than what's coming off on the monitor, but when I look in the mirror, it's not a huge difference. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna grab this shade and the shade, kind of mixing them together. And I'm gonna sweep that here on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take my flat tip brush and I'm gonna go into this dark purple. And I wanna see what it would look like even though it's quite shiny as it is. I was wondering what it would look like to put a little tiny bit of this right here, the center, like right there. It makes a little bit of a difference, but. So now I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna use a mascara brush. This is from Sigma. This is the Lash Fan, the E04. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit on the brush. I'm making a mess. Just don't drop it like I did. I'm in one of those modes. I don't know if I'm the only one, but okay, so I had a hysterectomy, but I still have one ovary that provides hormones, right? So I never know when I'm gonna be on my period or when I'm supposed to be on my period because I don't have a period, right? But I still have the hormone changes. And anytime I'm supposed to be on my period, I drop everything and I will drop things in a row. Like I'll drop my phone three times in a row, whatever I've got in my hand, it will just fall and I'll pick it up and then it'll drop again. Like, am I the only one that does that? It is absolutely bonkers. And it's so funny because my husband, like prior to me having a hysterectomy, when he would be like, you're getting ready to start your period. And I'm like, wait, what? No way. And sure enough, he was always right. Like he could tell automatically that like, by me being super clumsy, <laughs> I was getting ready to start my period. But I don't know, am I the only one that gets super clumsy when you're on your cycle? It's weird. The other day I completely dumped my entire bottle of water. So my daughter bought me this for Christmas and it was full. I had just, filled it up and I was getting ready to put the lid on it and I bumped it and water and ice went flipping everywhere. So I clean up the mess, right? And fill it back up with ice water and did it again. So I dumped that thing twice <laughs> in a row. I was like, I give up. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> 
I love not having to worry about um, my my cycle. Ugh. Like not having a period is like a dream come true. It really is, especially because I had such severe endometriosis and they would go in, do the laparoscopic surgery, get rid of all the endometriosis, right? Because it would grow on everything. I would be good for like a year or two and then it would grow back. And so it was just this vicious cycle of just misery. And I think I've had probably four or five laparoscopic surgeries due to endometriosis. And I, my doctor was finally like, okay, hey, so you're not having any more children. It really does not make any sense for you to continue to have periods and have a cycle because all it does is it feeds the endometriosis. I had a hysterectomy. The endometriosis ruined one of my ovaries. So I was able to keep one of the ovaries, but the other ovary wasn't able to be saved. The endometriosis was just, it took it over. And so I lost that ovary, but I'm still grateful that I still have one ovary for hormones. Um, I do have to have a little bit of a hormone replacement for my testosterone, but other than that, everything else is good. So we'll see, I'm hoping it stays that way. But anywho, okay, I don't even know why I brought that up, but we're gonna move on to the blush in this palette. Okay, so I was gonna maybe try a synthetic brush and a natural hair brush. So this is the BK Beauty 112, um, which is the synthetic. And then this is the cheek brush from uh, Sonia G. So I'm gonna first pick it up with this and see if it works with this synthetic brush. So this isn't a bad color, but on me, it's more lilac than cool tone pink. I don't know. I don't know that I love that. And the synthetic brush is applying it good. But the reason why I say that is because I've been recently obsessed with the uh, this color from Too Faced. This is the... Um, Cloud Crush in the shade Candy Clouds. This is the one from Natasha Denona, and this is the Candy Clouds. They're kind of the same shade, but not. The Too Faced has a little bit more of a pink undertone versus the one from Natasha Denona has like more of a violet undertone, and that may be why I'm not liking it, but I don't love this on me. Yeah, I don't love that color. I don't, I don't love it. And I have been loving like a cool tone pink blush and I just do not like that color on me, not even a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a little bit of the Candy Crush over top of it. I need something, I don't know, maybe not even this color because, oh, yeah, that might not have been the best idea. Oh, cracky, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I need to calm all of this down because this is just a lot and it does not look good at all whatsoever. Before I powder, I need to add a little bit of this. This is from Westman Atelier. Gosh, that blush looks bad. It looks terrible, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hoping I can salvage this hot mess I got going on here because this is not working for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying not to panic. I'm trying not to panic. I'm trying not to panic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't stop laughing when I look in the mirror in the monitor. I just bust out laughing. My eyes are going to water because I'm trying to stop myself from laughing. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> okay, enough laughing, Tara. I need to... <laughs> Why do I have the giggles? Okay. Um, 
Oh my gosh, this is bad. Okay, so I am gonna take this brush, which I've been absolutely loving this brush from Sonia G. This is the Buffer. Gosh, it's a good brush. And I'm gonna dip the brush into some translucent setting powder from Hourglass. That color is so bad. I am gonna take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury powder and kind of soften this up right here. And then go in with a better color of blush. So here's the thing. I don't wanna do like too peachy because it's not gonna match the eyeshadow. This on from Hermes. Anything can be better than what I got on. Um, just to kind of soften it up. So this one is in the shade Rose Pomet. It's 32. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. It's still really bright. Oh, shiz. I want to put on some bronzer. So I think I'm gonna use this shade from Hermes. This one is the 03 Sahara. But before we move on to lip, I'm gonna go into the shade and it might be really, really strong for what I'm liking these days, but just a tiny bit. I mean, I can't mess. Holy smokes, that's strong. Woo! Yeah, soften it up with this brush. I love this brush because it has the perfect density to really buff out a line that you might have and buff out something that you really need to buff out. Um, it works so good. Let's move on to lips. Okay, so I found this color. This is from Lisa Eldridge. It is the shade Blush Lightly. And it's pretty, it's doable, I think, with this eyeshadow look. But I also have this, which is beauty. Also have beauty. Do I have beauty? I do, Velvet Beauty, but I think it's broken. Oh, it is broken. I've had several of mine do this from Lisa Eldridge. Beauty might go better with this, huh? So I'm gonna, I still use it, but I just don't take it with me. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna take this off. And we're gonna put on beauty, and I think I might have a lip liner in that shade. I do. Needs to be sharpened though. I'm making a mess on every which direction I turn. I put on the shade Beauty as far as the lip liner goes. So I just like to soften up the edges a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. And then I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of the gloss in the shade Beauty. Okay, so I have to admit, it's been a minute since I've worn a pink lip, but that is pretty. After all of that to get me here, I'm happy. I'm happy. This is the final look. <laughs> I can't believe I finally made it here. I actually have a few things to say about this palette in particular. So let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. I have a few thoughts about this palette. <laughs> Obviously, I don't really like the blush in this palette. It just didn't really work for me and my complexion, even though I have been really, really loving that kind of cool tone pink, but it's just not the right tone for me. There was just something off with it. This is just an okay palette in my opinion. I don't know that it's like, like I think you really need to love these tones to justify this kind of a splurge because, because they're not really everyday tones, right? They're not gonna be that everyday, easy eye face kind of look. Like this is a very, specific color story. So 
All in all, you guys, I think I would pass on that unless you absolutely love these tones. You might even really like the blush. I think that's all gonna be based on your complexion. I think because I do already have a warm complexion and that blush is really cool toned, so it looked off on me. For me, I don't know that I'll ever pick up this palette again. That's just me on a personal level. That's pretty much it, you guys. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of chit chat fun video. Sound off down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, bye.